It was homecoming in Conway, and the Bears not only had a chance to secure a winning season, but win five games in a row for the first time since moving to Division I. We'll see how they fared against Southeastern Louisiana coming up on the Central Arkansas Football Report. Central Arkansas Football Report is sponsored by Farm Bureau Insurance of Faulkner County, 1037 The Buzz, AT&T, All Clean Restoration Services, Crane Automotive, AT&T Real Yellow Pages, First Security Bank, Sonic Drive-In, The Log Cabin Democrat, JJ's Grill, Zaxby's, and Moe's Southwest Grill. And we welcome you to this week's edition of the Central Arkansas Football Report, along with head coach Clint Cock. I'm Justin Acri. A 55-29 homecoming victory delivered here at Estes Stadium. Coach, congratulations on Appreciate it. another big win, five in a row. And uh, for the first time since joining Division One, five straight victories for your bowl club. Well, uh, that's a benchmark. Certainly uh, our first goal was attained tonight, uh, securing a winning season for the 2011 senior class and for this football team. It certainly keeps us on pace. Uh, for some other uh, objectives and goals that we have out in front of us. Uh, but I really thought our preparation was good this week. And uh, our young men came in very focused, very detailed. Uh, seemed like we got a little bit of a slow start right at the beginning, again with the defense, but you know they picked it up. And then certainly the offense, I thought, um, you know, was, was spectacular the entire night. Yeah, I was going to say, Southeastern Louisiana came in last in the league in rushing defense. And you knew you'd have some opportunities there, so of course you come right out and, and throw the football for a 44-yard touchdown. Yeah, big play to set the tone. We got man coverage and uh, play action pass to Jesse Grandy. Uh, they, they played man another series, and then after we scored, they got out of it and started playing zone, which opened up the run game. And once again, the offensive line, the tight ends, uh, our fullback Chris McKnight, uh, our receivers that we brought in motion quite a bit tonight. Uh, we really kind of got back to a more balanced plan, and uh, I couldn't be more pleased with the way that on both sides of the football and our kicking game that our assistant coaches had our team prepared tonight for a big game and a big crowd and homecoming. Yeah, great atmosphere certainly here in Conway and it was rocking on Bruce Street certainly and it was rocking here at Estes Stadium once the fans came inside. 55 points worth of highlights coming up in just a moment. Stay with us. I'm Jay Myers with Crane Buick GMC, the GM giant right here in Conway. We're proud to support the UCA Bears. Come let us show you that we're the best place in the state of Arkansas to buy your next vehicle. Best selection, best service, and best prices. Come see our full service dealership, bring your UCA ticket stub and get an extra $500 off or 10% off any service visit. The GM giant loves Conway and the UCA Bears. Crane Buick GMC, 1003 North Museum Road. Go Bears! CraneTeam.com What's going on here? Oh, uh, just eating a Baja dog with pepper jack and jalapenos. Uh-huh. You pay for that hot dog? What? We got a complaint that some guy was down here rattling chains and moaning. Oh, okay. And just because I'm a ghost, you assume it's me. You have a good night, sir. Uh -huh. Hot dogs, like the new Baja dog, just $1.99 each. Get creative and make your own commercial at thisishowyousonic.com. Welcome back, and uh, Coach, you talked about the focus this week, and I know you were excited about the way your guys prepared for this game against Southeastern Louisiana. It certainly showed on the scoreboard at the end of the day, but it's homecoming, which is exciting, but it's also distracting in a way, too. Yeah, we had a few distractions this week, which come with the territory of homecoming, uh, you know, a mixer, uh, an adopt-a-player program, certainly a bonfire some of our coaches and players were involved with. I thought we handled that part very maturely. I thought our practices were very sharp. I thought our assistant coaches, again, did a wonderful job uh, of being very efficient in practice and uh, and certainly we were able to get our work done you know in this late in the season you have to cut practices back the wear and tear you know just the physicalness of games and practice uh, so you know we're down to an hour and a half practice every day three days a week and walkthroughs and uh, I thought our, our young men were very well prepared and they were they handled that part very maturely also had a chance to get to uh, Children's Hospital this week too and I heard you talking to the players about that I know it's something you look forward to yeah you know uh, we try to get over to uh, Children's uh, at least three times every season and uh, you know I accompany the team of seniors and uh, coach Will Height who handles that part of our community service and uh, you know it's very rewarding for our players uh, uh, for, the, for the young people there at Children but, but probably more rewarding for us because it really shows the blessings that we have and, um, 
you know, again, it's part of the collegiate experience that we try to promote here at the university. All right, well, let's get into the first half highlights. And Bears won the toss and deferred to the second half. So starting out here, kicking off, and thought uh, Kamara did a great job, Coach, with kickoffs, all of them landing inside the 10, most of them inside the 5, did a good job, and the coverage was pretty darn solid, too. Well, he kicked off like uh, 10 or 11 times tonight, yeah. you know, so the little guy probably got tired. He made a couple of field goals and all of his extra points. Uh, Southeastern came out again, you know, very, uh, very much on point offensively. Uh, they had scored 38 against Texas State uh, last week. They did a nice job of, uh, of running the ball and throwing the ball uh, early in the game here. Uh, you know, we cut loose a, you know, a middle drop player there, and uh, this drive will go uh, and lead to a, you know, a Southeastern field goal. Once again, though, I thought our red zone defense, you know, stepped up and we forced a. Uh, a pretty long field goal. Yeah, I know you didn't like to have them. It was 42 yards. Didn't like them coming out and scoring. But I, I thought there was a real intensity from the defense setting the tone early on. They tried an onside kick. And, boy, a big break for your team right there because instead of losing possession right there, you retain possession in, in spectacular field position, which really became a theme for the night. And you don't mess around. You come right out, out with it, uh, play action, and it's Jesse Grandy. Drops it right in. He's in the end zone. And all of a sudden, 7-3 Bears. Yeah, the junior from Dollaway High School right here, transfer from Ole Miss, you know, really exciting Nathan Dick, one of his five touchdown passes. This play once again gave us some trouble. The quick uh, tunnel screen, uh, going back to Stephen F. Austin, um, you know, last week at Lamar hurt us a little bit uh, on the quick game here. Um, nice job by Frank Newsom getting them on the ground. Uh, again, the, the tunnel screen, you see we're just stuck on blocks, but great hustle there by Newsom. Uh, Justin Love, Frank the the senior from Petal, Mississippi. He really felt good tonight. You know, he, he's lost a little bit of weight. He, he's healthier. You know, we don't do a very good job here of, uh, of containment of the quarterback. And, you know, bang, bang, play on the sideline. Unfortunately, it was one of our uh, 11 penalties on the night. But uh, gets them down close into the tight red area. Great job by, by Seth Allison, the junior from Stuttgart. And then they're able to go play pass and hit us uh, for their early touchdown. And yeah, we're less than seven minutes of the game, and we've already got 17 points on the board. Bears trail by three at this point. Pretty soon they would not trail by three, wouldn't trail at all, and would never trail again in the game. Nice return right here. Isaiah Jackson had a couple of big ones. I think this one ended up coming back off a penalty. Yeah, uh, you know, disappointing there on the penalty, but, uh, you know, we've got some playmakers back there with Grandy and Isaiah Jackson. You've seen Jackie Hinton, Dominique Kroon. And, uh, you know, really pleased with Jackie. Not quite still 100%, but a 100-yard game tonight. And, uh, again, we go big ball versus man coverage. Grandy's able to shake the safety. And uh, big throw and catch right there to get us back now on the southeastern side of the field. Yeah, if you can get him against the safety, I would think any time you're probably liking it. And uh, more from Hinton right here. And this is an unbelievable run, pushing defenders to the ground. And it's just a... It's a foot race. Certainly, they've got an angle on him. But the, look at the way he finishes yeah, the, the run. Yeah, the finish. Yeah, just you know, got to secure that ball a little better, Jackie. But uh, excellent job. We insert Terrence Bobo in our Buffalo package, and he finishes the unblocked defender, which is going to be the safety, and uh, uh, we're able to come back now and and take the lead. Yeah, Bears up 14-10 now. Back on defense. Justin Love coming up right there. Nice stop. This young man, I'm glad he's a senior, Collins. He's the transfer from Texas, but one of nine turnovers uh, that our defense and our special teams unit. You can see Jarrell McKnight there, the senior from Grand Prairie. Try to come back here on play action pass. We've been running the football. Things kind of break down. And uh, nice job of uh, ad-libbing there by Dick, getting it to, uh, to Hinton. And uh, you can see there Dominique Allen, the, the sophomore from Houston, is all fired up. Uh, we had a penalty and uh, backed us up. We had two situations in the first quarter where we had first and 25 twice, and, and uh, those are very difficult to convert. But I thought Kevin Buford came in once again, did a wonderful job. Uh, Collins not unable to secure the punt, and the Bears recover. Yeah, he, he didn't seem to be quite 100% on the punt returns, and he certainly had a big night in the re receiving game, but just didn't look very comfortable back there. And I know you didn't take advantage of the last tone, turnover, certainly looking to take advantage right here. Nathan looking in the end zone there, and there's some contact down there. No call on Kroom. And... Well, uh, you know, it's a, a staple play that we've run over the years, but uh, really happy here. Uh, Eddie Kamara, the redshirt freshman from Cedar Hill, Texas, comes in, knocks down a 41-yard field goal. Yeah, 17-10 Bears now at this point. 
A little bit of reaching and grabbing. You can see there Justin Love, the sophomore from West Memphis. Nice tackle. And I thought our run defense was spectacular. I think they had 48 net yards rushing. You know, we had a couple of sacks. Uh, uh, but again, just too many penalties on encroachment. And, uh, and we had a couple of personal fouls that was very disappointing. Almost intercepted right there and a punt right here. With the jumping off sides, there were a few a few incidents of that. Was it something they were doing or what was the situation? Well, they were hard counting us and we're not, yeah. uh, you know, focusing on the football. And, uh, you know, we got to do a better job of that with our discipline. Uh, Jackie Hinton here, again, the junior from, uh, from Houston, Texas. Nice job, Jackie. Tight ends, right side of the offensive line. Uh, again, this ball bounces out. Critical third down conversion. We come back with the with the bubble screen. Uh, not exactly how we drew it up, but but Jesse once again, uh, you know, he's just a playmaker. And we, we, we're fortunate here. Uh, we get a nice block. Uh, Terrence Bobo, the sophomore from Atkins, cuts it across the field. Now you had a few cases of guys cutting it back diagonally across the field and had some real success with that. Well, Terrence, very valuable to us in the pass game uh, as well as the run game. And you can see right here the explosiveness uh, down to the to the five yard line by Hinton. And uh, stick route, they covered it up. Nathan does a nice job of extending the play with his feet. And we go to Isaiah Jackson, his one catch, the senior from Conway. It's hard to believe this, his first touchdown of the season receiving. I mean, that's just unbelievable. Well, we've got a lot of weapons, and Isaiah's been a, you know, a real team player and you know, just lets the game come to him, whether it be the return game. And once again, right here, our kickoff coverage unit does a super job of being physical. Brett Soft um, on the tackle. 24-10. Pretty good control. Nice job by Frank. Yeah, right nice there job by off. Newsom. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, but again, the pocket collapses here, and just a wonderful job by Jermaine Lett. Was a captain tonight. The senior from Goche, um, Mississippi. And that was Newsom in coverage right there. He gives up the pass, but then they rip the ball away, and there's a scramble for the ball, and it's a, a certainly a pretty heated deal. They let the scramble go on for a while, and then. There ends up being a, an incident there, and Justin Love was ejected from the game, unfortunately. Yeah, um, you know, just didn't show the maturity we needed to right there. And, um, and, and you know, without going into too much detail there, very disappointing. Uh, but, the, but the offense does have the ball. We've got a chance here with a timeout or two left. A nice throw and catch to, to junior Dominique Kroon. And this is really the one decision that Nathan made. He's looking left on a dual tag package, and he's got to stay on the left side. He comes back to the right side. and and uh, throws the interception and uh, you know we just can't do that. Well fortunately able to keep southeastern Louisiana out of the end zone here they try to go big ball and uh, Bryce French I believe right here the true freshman from Marshall Texas. Yeah, he came in at that yep. safety spot and, and, and made a play right there right away so seal it up there to end the first half and we'll show you how it all played out when we come back. and great eye-opening moments. You guys are skins. <laughs> Need to regain your swagger? Our new taco stacks are filled with Moe's Famous Queso, two crispy corn tortillas, fresh veggies, shredded cheese, and all-natural cage-free chicken. Then folded and grilled crispy, making everyone feel tougher. Well, almost everyone. Moe's, feed the moment. <laughs> 